Kim Jong Ho. Two hundred Ma Wei, from Denmark. On target number two, representing and Denmark. Korea World number one will face Denmark. The world number two. Tanya Jensen, Martin Dempsey. 担任本场比赛起射线裁判是 The right judge for this match is Cecilia Stan. Korea shoots first. Denmark shoots second. Well, there we go. The referee has called it for us. Korea will shoot first at the left-hand target. Denmark shooting second at the right-hand target. Four ends and the gold medal at stake here in Shanghai. You couldn't ask for more. Two of the biggest hitters in the sport, the world number one and the world number two, going head-to-head -head for gold. Perfect, X. I mean, that's how you want to open this gold final. Slightly oh, off. I couldn't have called that. Her, her technique looked absolute perfection. So maybe the wind's just slightly caught up there. Mid knee to higher. So that was a nine. Oh. So, a little small. so a ten required to draw level. Yep, X Perfect X. So all square halfway through the first end. And Lucy, I don't know whether you saw that the flag just behind the arch is waving just a little bit heavier than it was earlier on. Yes, so uh, that could be why the, uh, the female arrows are going no, off slightly. The female archers tend to shoot just slightly <laughs> lower poundage. And both of them went to the, uh, the right of the target, so it looks like the wind's just picked up in the stadium. Well, possible score of 40. Korea get 39 in the first end. Right on the line, you get the higher score. Another 10 required here. Martin Dansbo. Cool. Looking down through the sight. Oh, it's a nine. Well, 38 and 39, the quality is undeniable. Yeah, this is Gannos just keep clicking the Lindus Yeah, this is the, uh, this is the match you want to see. Keep the gold medal. Normal, right? Now, despite being world number one, Korea had to survive a tie break in the semi finals over Turkey to get through. Target but it was one. equally X tight for, for the, the Danish team. 154 playing 155 against X India, nine. so just one. X nine. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, their score was a little bit lower, and Korea's scores seem to be consistently higher this week. But, um, you know, you have to win the match at hand. So if you get through the rounds, you're in the gold medal match. And uh, Denmark, I've had the pleasure of shooting with them this week. And uh, they're shooting undeniably well. Well, they trail by one here. Each end has a target score, a perfect score of 40. Korea leads 39 to 38. Denmark shoots first. Korea. Now the scores in uh, the mixed team, compound mixed team, uh, are accumulative scores. Lucy, what does that mean? So basically with the mixed team, each archer has two arrows, so total of 40 points, as you said, per end. And we will have four ends for this match. So we're looking for 160 points. Obviously, 
we're not going to get that now because the archers have already dropped a couple of points. But closest to 160 points will win. Yep, hope mid team. So good start. Trailing team oh, yeah. shoot first. Yep, oh, that is, that is on the 10, I would call that in. Yeah. Well, they'll have to wait for the scores to be confirmed, but uh, dropping just a single point in the first two arrows, so we go over to Korea. Yep, thank you. You have Fiend too, though. Nice, good 10. They are on a roll. Right. Just slipping the nine yeah, cool. there. Yeah. So level at the halfway stage, and you can see the asterisks up against the uh, Danish second arrow, nine, which basically means that uh, the scoring judge will just have to go and assess whether that is a ten. She wasn't happy with that. That one slipped up and to the left. The uh, flags down by the target have moved, so I wonder if the Koreans will notice this and take advantage. On the line again. That's the advantage, of course, of uh, shooting second. You can see uh, what the conditions are like, and they, are, they do change. We're outside, and we're subject to weather conditions. Lovely, what? lovely X. What's very interesting about the Korean team is that they'll have uh, keep shooting first, and then Choi, and then Choi shooting again, and then Kim to finish. And uh, order is th is that uh, something that you can decide yourself and in an in, in, in end? Yeah, so of course the Koreans, they would have practiced with different pairings depending on who, you know, ranks highest in the ranking Target rounds. Ten, and, um, nine. obviously Korea found out that if they get Kim to shoot first and last, that works best for them. So what have got here, Well, we've got two debatable scores, Target one two. for Korea, one nine, for Denmark. Nine. Ten, ten. So that's been marked up as a ten, you can hear the... Australian nine, nine, judge ten, there, ten. marking up Denmark's the ten. arrow to a 10. So the score at the oh, moment sorry, shows Korea leading by two. Okay. An accumulation yes, of the first two end ten. scores. Hvis de kører stærke skud, så driver den ikke særlig meget med at køre på. Oh, did they mark up the Koreans as well there? Oh, we're waiting for this. They did mark up the Koreans. They've now climbed to 78 points, but it's still a two-point lead because the Danes also were marked up for the nine. Korea second. So. Still training at the halfway stage. Denmark will shoot first in the third end. This for the gold medal here in Shanghai in the mixed team event. Let's go, Tanya. Crucial couple of arrows for Denmark here. You feel that they've got to put the pressure on. Yep, X. Lovely yeah. X. That's more like her. This is what she was doing in the qualification round. She absolutely blitzed the 10. Still important, though. Needs to capitalise on this. Another 10 will start to put the pressure on Korea. 
Yeah, yeah, there we go. Martin has so much experience. He's been to all of these World Cups. He knows what he's doing, so this is where it counts. Now, we talked about this being a mind game, but if you look at the consistency of the Koreans, you wouldn't be surprised if they got 39 or 40 in this uh, third end. Oh, oh. now. Has that slipped into the nine? I think, yeah, I think that's a nine. Pressure's starting to, uh, to build for Korea. That's his first nine. But uh, a ten coming through on the second arrow. Yep, high mid Ten, lovely. Three in a row. Ten, 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 ten. ten. <laughs> this is what the Danes needed. They needed to apply the pressure. Korea led by two coming into the end. You feel that if Denmark can steal a point back here, they'll put themselves back in contention for gold. Oh, that's a nine or a ten. It's difficult to call from over here. Yeah. That's been marked up as a nine. Pressure was on, it needed that just to draw a level. Now this is the newest discipline in, uh, in archery, the, the mixed team. But uh, quite an interesting one for the uh, Korean teams, isn't it? Yes, of course. So obviously uh, Choi, she was, you know, a, f a former recurve champion. So you can tell her, her how she shoots her bow is very much that of a recurve. It looks lovely. So um, you know, she's poised, grace, and obviously she can deal with the pressure. Now, to some extent, uh, the compound is slightly easier because you're uh, you're assisted by a mechanical pulley system. Uh, but you're shooting 50 meters, uh, and you're trying to hit a target about the size of an apple to get the 10 points. Uh, so it, it, it's interesting to switch from one to another. Yeah, of course. I mean, shooting from recurve to compound, you've got to really focus on aiming in the 10. Um, you know, recurve, you shoot 70 meters away, and it's slightly easier in the respect that if you get a nine, you'll probably win the match. As, as a compound, you have to be getting the 10 to win. So it's more about aiming rather than sort of your strength. Well, we saw the uh, perfect 10s there from Denmark in the third end. We're about to start the fourth. The scores all tied up. Interestingly, Korea shooting first. And that's a 10. So they're shooting first because in the first end they had decided to go first because they were the highest ranked team. So when the t score is tied, or if you're the losing team, you will shoot first. Well, the pressure was put on by Denmark shooting first in the third round getting 20 in the first two arrows. There again, another nine for Choi. Yep, She's such a strong shooter. She's got so much potential. He'll do them. Yep, oh, that was a long yeah. shot, <laughs> but in the hex, <laughs> see him taking a breath there. Yeah, that little puff out, of a bit of relief there. But you've got to say, a 38 and a 38 from Denmark in the first two ends, not bad, but they have all of a sudden brought their A game here. Oh, yeah. Lovely, good recovery. Sure. Needed, needed. Definitely needed. Last 
arrow of the gold medal match for Korea. And they need to get a big score here. Inside 10 seconds. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so they need Denmark to get a nine now. So it's not just about getting tens, it's also hoping your opponent gets nines. But that's not going to happen. That's a ten. So now it's down to Martin Damsbo, the final arrow of the gold medal match. He needs a 10 to win, a 9 will put us into a tiebreaker. Yes! Oh, oh what a it. shot! What a good shot! Oh, we said it at the beginning, it was going to be a big one. Denmark got a 38 and a 38 in the first two ends, but then a perfect score in ends three and four, and they stole the lead from the Koreans, and they've taken the gold medal here in the mixed team at the Hyundai Archery World Cup Stage 1 in Shanghai. Well, we promised it was going to be a big one, Lucy. Wow, what a match. It's incredible. That's where Martin's experience came in. He needed a 10 to win, and he got a 10 to win. That is incredible. We were all off of our seats there. But his first arrow in the in the final end, he seemed to be hanging on forever. Oh, I, well, we saw him take a breath. Obviously didn't phase them. What great shooting from the Danish team. Well, it wasn't too bad from Korea either. 155 out of 160 is a good score. Oh, cool. the, yeah, I do feel for Korea. I mean, they're so consistent. 39, 39, 38, 39. So, um, yeah, just incredible. To pull that back with two perfect scores, you deserve the gold. High fives all round for the Danish team. They played a blinder in, in the ends three and four, turned around a two-point deficit to win by a single point and take the Shanghai World Cup Stage 1 of the Hyundai Archery Series. Here you get the beautiful view of Shanghai. And uh, we've had our mixed team bronze and gold medal matches coming up. It's going to be the women's individual bronze followed by the gold. And then it's the turn of the men for their two medal matches. Times local to uh, Shanghai, of course. So that's the team compound done. We will be coming on to the individual matches, but first up, we will have the uh, ceremony for the mixed team. So let's go and pick up the medals. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the compound mixed team. We are presenting the medal to the Hanmu Director of the World Medals were represented by World Archery Secretary General Tom Deegan. Banfa Jiang Bei de Shi, Zhongguo Shijian Xie Hui Fu Zhu Xi, Shanghai Shi Shijian Xie Hui Hui Zhang, Guo Bei. Trophies will be represented by Shanghai Archery Association President Guo Bei. For the Tong Pai de Shi, Lai Zi Ying Du de Xuan Shou, Bronze Medal representing India. Josie is the rank of Venom. 
Abhishek Verma. Won the win by the is from Korean player, silver medal representing Republic of Korea. Choi Bok Min. Kim Jong Ho. Won the gold is from Denmark. Gold medal representing Denmark. 田亚杰森、马丁·丹斯博女士们、先生们，请起立。现在播放丹麦国歌。Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of Denmark. 女士们、先生们，向我们的运动员献上最热情的掌声。Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm round of applause to our athletes. <音>好的，观众朋友们，场地准备好后，马上将要开始的是女子复合弓的个人铜牌赛。